If you use a social media platform such as Instagram to promote your business, you've probably either seen or used the words link in bio. And that's because Instagram lets you have only one link associated with your account, which is in your bio. So what a lot of marketers do is use a tool such as Linktree to put together a page of links and then they'll post that in their bio. In this video, I'll show you how you can create a page just like that, but on your own website. So you can style the page to match your brand and you have the ability to add things like a button that triggers a light box offering a free lead magnet. By building the page on your own website, you have complete control over it and you can really optimize the page to help you meet your business goals. Hi there, I'm Christine with Thrive Themes. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, don't forget to go ahead and do that. I'm really excited to show you how to create a social media links page on your own website because there's a lot of benefits to doing it this way, especially if you use Thrive Suite. Now, if you aren't familiar with Thrive Suite, Thrive Suite is our collection of tools and plugins. It includes Thrive Architect, which is our drag and drop page builder, Thrive Leads, which is our lead generation tool, and we also have tools for building online courses, quizzes, countdown timers, and more. And all of this works with your WordPress website. All right, so let's start building. We are going to be building the page using Thrive Architect, and I'll actually be using the custom menu element to create my list of links. So I'm in WordPress right now, and let's start by creating a new page. Let's go ahead and launch Thrive Architect. Now, when you first create your page, you'll be presented with these four options, and you can choose whichever one you think is right for your page. The normal page option will use the theme header, top section, footer, bottom section, and sidebar that you have set for your regular WordPress pages. You can also do a blank page with a header and footer, or you can do a completely blank page and build everything from scratch, or you can use a pre-built landing page. So Thrive Architect comes with pre-built template sets so that you can easily put together marketing funnels. So there are templates for lead generation pages, confirmation pages, sales pages, and more. So the idea is that there's placeholder content in each of the templates already. So all you have to do is replace text, images, you can change colors, you can change fonts, but the work of figuring out what content to put where has already been done. For this particular demo, I'll choose a completely blank page, but you can choose any of these options to suit your needs. So let's start by adding a profile photo and a link to our Instagram profile. It's super easy to do using the tools in Thrive Architect. So I'll go to the add element button and then I'll look for the image element and I'll drag that into place. Now, if you need to upload a photo, you can do that from the Upload Files tab. I've already got one in my media library, so I'll select it and then I'll click Insert into Post. So next, I'll need to scale this down just a bit. Now, I made sure to upload a square photo so that I could then go down to the Borders and Corners tab and then I could scale up the corner radius and make the image a circle. Now, if you use a rectangular photo, you'll actually end up with an oblong shape. So you do need to upload a square photo in order to create this circle shape. To center the photo, I'll go to layout and position and I'll go to alignment and I'll choose center alignment. And you may want to add just a little bit of padding to the top of the image here so that there's a little bit of space. So I'll simply adjust the top padding. Next, let's add some text that will link to our Instagram profile. So I'll go to the add element button and then I'll click and drag the text element into place. You can then type in your Instagram handle and then to add a link, simply highlight the text and then go to the floating bar and click the add link button and then add in your Instagram link. I'll go ahead and center the text. And of course, you can change the font and color from the main options tab. Next, let's add our social media links. We are going to be using the custom menu element. So let's go to the add element button and let's search for custom menu. And then you can simply click and drag that into place. 
we're going to choose the standard drop down menu and then we want to create a custom menu. Now you have lots of menu design options here, but we only want to see the vertical menu options since we want to create a list of vertical links. So I'll go over here and select vertical. And now you can choose a design that you like, but I know that vertical 07 looks like a list of buttons. So let's go ahead and select that. Next, you can replace the text with your own text and add links to each of these menu items. To edit the text, first make sure that the custom menu is highlighted in the breadcrumbs, then go to the main options tab. And if we scroll down, you can go to the menu items, and then you can edit individual items. So let's go ahead and get rid of these two sub menu items. And then let's go ahead and edit the first item by clicking the pencil icon. Let's type in the text that we want to display. And then under target URL, you can simply start typing the name of the page or blog post that you want to link to, and it'll pop up. So I'll just select this, and then I'll click apply. And then I'll do that for the other menu items. Now, if you're using Thrive Leads to place opt-ins on your website, then you can have one of these menu items trigger a Thrive Leads Thrive box so that you can promote your lead magnet and get more email list subscribers. So the first thing you'll have to do is open up the Thrive Leads dashboard and create a Thrive box. So let's go ahead and quickly create one. So I'm here in the Thrive Leads dashboard. Let's scroll down to Thrive Boxes and let's click Add New. Let's give this a name and then I'll click Add Thrive Box. Next, we'll need to create a form. So let's go to the blue pencil icon and click on that. And let's click Create Form. I'll give this form a name and then I'll click the Create Form button. Next, let's edit the design of this form by going to the blue pencil icon. And as you can see, there are lots of designs to choose from. I'll go ahead and choose this one. And then you'll need to replace the text for your own text, replace the images for your own images. And then you'll also need to connect this form to your email marketing service. We do have several tutorials on how to set up an opt-in form such as this one. So we'll be sure to link them below. So now that we've created our Thrive box, we can link up one of these menu items to that Thrive box. So let's go ahead and select this menu item and let's go down to animation and action. And under add new, we're going to click this button here for pop-ups. And then we'll select the open Thrive Leads Thrive Box option. And then you can simply start typing in the name of your Thrive Box. So here it is. I'll select this and then let's click apply. Now we haven't changed the text for this menu item. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll go to custom menu. And again, under main options, we're going to go to menu items. And here is where I can change that text because we've already added a link to our thrive box in the animation and actions tab. We don't actually need to put in a target URL. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that blank and then I'll click apply. Now, one thing I want to mention is that the menu items are linked by default. So this means that if you make a change to one, such as the background color, all of the items will change. So for example, let's click on one menu item. And to change the background color, we'll go to background style, and then I'll click on this solid color here to change it. And I'll simply choose a new color. And you can see that the backgrounds have changed for all of the menu items. So things like typography and borders and corners are also linked as well as margins and padding, which is located in the layout and position tab. Now, if for some reason you want to change the background color for just one menu item, you can select it and then click the green lock icon to unlink it. And then you can change the background color for just that particular item and none of the other items will change. If you want to relink the item, you can simply click the lock button again. Now with this menu style, it has an icon next to each menu option. You can change it by clicking on an item, then make sure that menu item is highlighted in the breadcrumbs and then go to the main options tab. And then under display, you can choose to display text only. You can do icon only or icon and text 
image only or image and text. For now, let's do icon and text. And then you can open the icon menu to choose a new icon. Now remember, these menu items are linked. So if you change the icon, then the icon for all of the items will change. You can also change the icon for a single item by unlinking it first and then choosing a new icon. Now you also have some options here for where to place the icon relative to the text. And you also have some options for the icon color and the icon size. Now, one thing that might be helpful for your visitors is if you display the image that you posted on Instagram that is associated with the link. So under display, let's go ahead and choose image and text. And now you can insert a different image with each link. The icons for the menu are linked by default, but the images are not. So you will not have to unlink the menu item to insert different images. For example, I'll go ahead and insert an image for this menu item. I'll simply click on the image icon and then under select image, I'll click where it says replace image and I'll choose a new image. And I'll go ahead and do that for the rest of the menu items. All right, so this page is almost done. The very last thing you'll need to do is make sure that this page looks good on mobile devices. So I'll go to the tablet mode and you can see that the hamburger menu is being displayed here. To display the actual menu instead of the hamburger menu, make sure that the custom menu is selected and highlighted in the breadcrumbs. Then go to main options and turn off toggle hamburger and then do the exact same thing for the mobile phone mode. And that's it, your social media links page has been created. You can build a page just like this one using Thrive Architect, and you can get Thrive Architect and the rest of our tools when you purchase Thrive Suite. So visit thrivethemes.com suite to purchase Thrive Suite today.